How large are big brand in-house SEO teams? Yeah, it depends on the business. I mean, someone like Home Depot, yes, they have an in-house SEO team. At Homes.com, we have you know, one SEO person. That's basically it. Uh, not even on my team. So we have them uh, situated in product because it's easier to get those communication when they're embedded in a team. So th there are some companies that like to build out a larger in-house team. I think um, with SEO, there are enough great agencies around. So it's often good to partner with agencies on some of the initiatives. Um, there's more accountability. Um, there's certainly another voice at the table. There's other experiences at the table. And, and no matter how good an SEO you are, and I didn't write that book, by the way, in-house SEO, but no matter how good an SEO you are, it's good to have other voices at the table or other sounding boards. Because some of the ideas, and this is another technical term, are crap. And some of the ideas you don't think will work, and they do. And, you know, example, Red Bull, they wanted to do some, uh, some paid search around um, uh, different Excel problems. Because they figured Red Bull keeps people awake and people are staying awake because they have problems with their computers. And we tried it, and it was brilliant for pay. <laughs> And we had no clue it was going to work beforehand, but that was an idea someone came up with in marketing. We tried it and it worked. Same with SEO. Try things that other people have ideas as well, and it works. And now, if you can't get stuff done, if you can't execute, it's pretty easy to test SEO over a fairly short period of time just because Google you know, uh, indexes and, and moves rankings and things within a fairly, fairly short period of time.